Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are continuing our playthrough of Bramble the Mountain King. This is part 3 of our playthrough, and in the last video, we met the Witch of the Marshes, and made our way through those marshes to this place which seems to be kind of like a library-like archive, with a Keeper of Secrets type character guiding us through there. We're going to pick up right where we left off there, but as always guys, with these videos, I would recommend checking out parts 1 and 2 to get a full rundown of the story. With that said, let's continue our playthrough of Bramble the Mountain King, and pick up where we last left off. Here we are. Let's keep going. Ulle wished he could stay in the warm light of the library. But he knew that he needed to reach the mountain and find Lilimor. Yep, no turning back now. It looks like he's making uh, a little path for us to take here. So we'll follow it round. Suddenly. He heard a familiar voice. <gasps> There's Tell our sister. Me, little brother. I will protect you. You can see the mountain in the distance as well. So our sister's there. Lillamore. We're just going to follow her now. See where she leads us. The cool thing about this game is there's always like these amazing boss encounters. Every episode so far. So I'm intrigued to see who we're going to meet next. <laughs> oh man, that doesn't sound good. We've been tricked. We've been led down a rabbit hole by a... a creature of the forest. Oh my god, what is this? It looks like we're going to have to maybe destroy the heart on her back in order to... Um, in order to stop her. Oh no. What is this? Some kind of nymph of a forest or something? Yeah, we got a boss fight right at the start of the episode, guys. Wow. Oh wait, what are these things on the tree? Oh, that binds her. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be tricky. So those things on the tree bind her still for a little bit. Okay, guys. So what we're going to have to do, I think, is hide behind all these trees. And then shoot these things. And I think once we've shot, like, enough of those things... What's she doing now? She's summoning something. Okay, we just hide behind the trees again. Yeah, I think, like, once we've shot enough of those things that are, uh, like, pinned to the trees... Maybe it will damage her enough for us to go in and attack. It seems like we have to try and attack um, the heart on her back, doesn't it? The exposed heart. So I'm just going to keep blasting those for now. Oh my god, what's going on? Wow. Okay, so when we see that stuff bubbling, we want to move. Come on, shoot it. There we go. And the controls are sometimes kind of hard to aim with in this game. They're kind of floaty, you know? Alright, we hide and we wait. Now we shoot this one. Okay, bind her. Oh my god. No, move. Right, shoot this now. Has that done anything? Oh, we got her. Okay, we can shoot her. You don't have to do all of them. I thought you had to do, like, every single one. You only have to, like, shoot one. Oh, there's our sister as well. Okay. I'm hoping that's not the actual sister, though, right? He's angry now. She's, she's angered us, guys. <laughs> it's like, right, no more mucking around. Oh, a sword. No way. What the heck? We've upgraded. We have upgraded. We have to plunge this into her back. Take this. Ah, nice. Okay, so I'm guessing that's not it. We're going to have to do that over and over now, right? Yeah, that was phase one. Man, this is a cool fight. 
right at the start of the episode as well. Okay. Okay, we've got explosives now. I'm running. I'm running. We need to find more of those little um, people on the trees, right? Look, they're up there on the trees. I didn't realize, but they're actually up at the top of the trees now. So they've kind of been placed in a kind of harder to, harder to notice area. So what we're going to have to do, guys, is look to the top of the tree line here and then try and shoot them like this. That's not enough yet. We need more. We need to hit more of them. So I was right in thinking that we, we do need to, like, get a whole bunch of them in order to attack her. Oh, my God. There's so many of these explosive thingy things, these dynamites. Yeah, we still can't hurt her yet. We need to... Oh, my God. We need to destroy more of these. There we go. Any more? Or is that it? No, that's not it. There's, there's definitely more hanging from some of these trees. we just got to figure out where they are. There. Is that enough? Yes, we got her again. It's kind of tricky understanding what this boss wants you to do, but once you got it, you got it. We just now need to make it in time before she wakes back up. There we go, stab her. Ah. That's another one down. How much more to go, though, is the question. Oh, my God. They're floating in the sky now. This is kind of epic. What the heck? All right. Let's go. Now they're all floating around. I see. What's she doing now, though? She's, like, raining stuff down from the sky on us. Oh, yeah, she really is. Man, you don't get much time to stop and uh, examine your surroundings at the moment. Oh, she's throwing explosives at us as well. This is not good. There's nowhere to hide anymore behind the trees, you know? All right, go, go, go. We've almost got her, guys. We've almost got her. Just two more. Oh, I've got to avoid this again, though. Ah. Quick, quick, quick. We got this, we got this. Now shoot her. Yes. Now we just go to the center and we stab her one last time. It should be it. Oh. She preempted it that time. We've got to try again. Get her before she has time to get up. Your days are numbered, witch. Nice. <laughs> it was kind of anticlimactic when he did that. I feel sorry for her a little bit. Damn. This is kind of brutal, man. This is like what the king did to all the witches in the story we read for the last episode. It's like he's turning evil. I think she's dead by now, my guy. That's insane. So, yeah, we defeated the, uh, I think that's called the Skogret or something. That's the name of the achievement that just popped. That's insane, man. He went full-on crazy there. OG gangster, you know? And now she's disintegrated. She's turned into dirt again. Well, she was the creature of the forest, wasn't she? This child is going to be, like, traumatized for life. It's weird that he was, like, crying as well. Like, is this meant to be symbolic for something like his mother or his sister? Something he did? It was the story of the king, pretty much, and how the king killed the witches, but... I don't know, guys. That's strange. Ola, what have you done? Tufa's voice called out to him. Yeah, what has he done? That was kind of, uh... I mean, she was trying to kill us, but... There's a bit overkill at the end, you know? She was begging for mercy. 
And he was just like, no, denied. Let's keep going. What a start to the episode, though. Already had a boss fight. Got a little campfire there. Let's head down here and see what uh, what's happening. It looks like the forest has been burned, doesn't it? The whole place has just been kind of engulfed in flames. What happened here? I want to know what's going on, you know? This is insane. The whole place has been burned down. There's more people just strung up here as well, like, on crosses. It's so weird. Are these all, like, the witches, I wonder? They must be, right? The witches the king killed. As part of his crusade to try and find the flower to save his dying son's life. As we found out in a previous episode there. Oh my god, this is insane. This is really cool. The imagery in this game is so good. I keep saying it, but like, they've really done a, a great job with it all. I just don't know exactly where the story's headed. Because I feel it's deeper than, than, you know, what's on the surface level. Oh, <coughs> he's seen a lot of bad stuff, I guess. Cough it up, my guy. There's the mountain. We're so close now. So I feel like we just have to make our way through this little town here. And we'll be there. And that's probably the end game. Once we get to the, uh, the mountain. So what is this place? Nil Schultz. I think that says. This is where everybody was killed. I think this is all to do with the king and his men, right? We saw them, like, slaying everyone in the town in the last episode, so I'm assuming that's what this is all about. Yeah, look, she was tied up and tortured. It's all the kind of witches were, um, were tortured in these places. Have to hold down the different buttons to pry a hand free. Man, this is actually kind of hard. X and then Y. There we go. Man, that was hard. <laughs> I had to kind of claw my hand to do that. All right, nice. So now can I, um... Can I turn this? Yeah, we get a key, look. There we go. Nice. Alright. Well, I don't think there's any helping her. Got a book. Is there a book we can read? No? Oh, collectible. Look, there's a Plague Doctor mask there as well. And that's a creature we just killed, of course, with a slit on her back. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, uh, what the heck are those things? I'm guessing we want to hide from those, right? Looks like we need to get over there. We need to get past these creatures somehow. Alright, let me just run over here. Maybe there's a way we can sneak past if we go through the grass round here. Oh, they're coming for us. Oh, I see. Yeah, we trick them and we climb over. Nice. Go, go, go. Oh, my God. Oh, they've lost us. Or maybe they haven't. No, they have not lost us. So I don't know what we're meant to do here, guys. There's loads of, like, zombies that are trying to get us. Okay, so what maybe we do here is sneak. We can't sneak. Are you kidding me? Right, now we can sneak. Now the birds have gone. So what I think we're going to do, guys, is we're actually going to have to sneak to the middle of here and make a break for it. We're sneaking, we're sneaking, we're sneaking, we're sneaking, we're sneaking. We made it. Good. Right, that was close. We just have to sneak past those ones. Now what do we do, though, is the question. It looks like we can get into here, maybe? Yeah. We need our light out, though. It's very dark. The heck is that? A lighthouse or something? We can't even use our light. Look, the light's actually broken, which is strange. 
Is that because we killed the uh, creature in the forest? Let's have a look. Once there was a peaceful village near a great forest. One night, people began to see a beautiful woman with long dark hair lurking in the shadows during the full moon. Men started to follow her into the forest. Some of them never returned, and those who did had lost their minds. Eventually, the villagers had enough. They took all the dark-haired women of a certain age and put them on trial for witchcraft. They started to execute them, hoping to find the right one. Yet men kept disappearing during full moon nights. The villagers grew more and more desperate and burned down a large area of the forest in the hope of finding this strange, beautiful woman, but to no avail. The villagers had lost themselves. They killed their own mothers and daughters. They burned down more of the forest that had served them with resources. Then one night, when the moon shone at its brightest, five brave men took matters into their own hands. They put on their coats and walked into the burnt forest to hunt for the woman with the dark hair. After a time, they saw the beautiful woman standing in a clearing. The men were instantly enchanted and followed her deep into the forest's heart. She was a shapeshifter that mimicked what men wanted to see in order to lure them away. When they were close enough to touch her, she transformed into something monstrous. She ripped their chests open, hung them up in the trees, and drew strange powers from their still beating hearts. And no one would ever see them again. There we are, that's uh, why there were all those people hanging up we had to hit. And explains what happened to this town as well, so that's interesting. I like that it does explain all the monsters in this game, you know? It's pretty cool. Let's keep going. Now we need to sneak past more of these creatures. So how are we going to do this? Maybe go through here first. Man, we're so close to them. Okay, I think we're going to have to cut through here, guys. Move around. Don't move, birds. Just stay put. All right, now we're going to have to jump up. Lure them around. Like this. And then jump across. Like this. Hey, and they just fall in, look. Screw you. Hope you can swim. Now we can keep going. Okay. I think we're out of the town now. Or most of the way out of the town. Yeah, we got to the dock. Actually pretty haunting that town, you know? Like, all the people just strung up everywhere and... All the people feeding, all the zombified people feeding on the, uh, the flesh of the fallen. Pretty nasty stuff. They'd all gone crazy, of course, in that town. What the heck? Oh my god, I can hear someone! Wait, what are we meant to do against this thing? Can it even see us? Oh my god, it, it follows the light. So we've got to try and navigate this room without using our light. There we go, climb up here. And then out the window, I assume? Yeah, look at this. Oh my god, look at that creepy woman over there. Just staring at us. Okay, do we drop down? Or do we go through there? Let's have a little look out of here, I reckon. There's the mountain we're trying to get to. We've finally, well, almost reached it. Let's drop down here. Oh, it's another one of these rooms with the puzzle doors. I had one of these in episode two. 
So let's have a look at this door. This one is it's like an upside down cross and then a line and then a hexagon at the top. Okay. So we need the hexagon. Definitely need this one. And we need... Let's have a look. That, I think. What is this? Circle? I don't think we need a circle. Oh, actually, I know what it is. It's just the normal sides. Uh, the normal sized one of these is what we need. That should be it, I think. Because if you look at this, guys, you can see it's basically a, a big plus sign, a small plus sign, and then the hexagon, which is what we've got now. So if we mix these together, that should be it, I think. Let's give it a whirl, see if it works. A bit of witchcraft, a bit of potion mixing, alchemy, whatever other word you want to use. I'm hoping it works. Looks like it has. Oh, no, we've got to do another one. Okay. So this one... We need the three circles, the diamond, square, triangle. All right, let's have a look. So diamond we needed, square we needed, three circles, and the triangle, I think, is the other thing we need. Right, this should work. Kind of want to get out of this room, it's very foreboding, but at least there's no enemies trying to eat us here. Hey, okay, nice. Open sesame. Oh man, we're still in this village? No. That's locked. Fantastic. Alright, I guess we head back into the village then. Exactly where I didn't want to go. Oh, use your light here, it says. Okay. Ooh, what is this? A key. Ah, yeah, for the door. So now, if we head back, we should be alright. Should be able to press on. I just want to get out of this village, quite honestly. It's kind of freaky here, isn't it? So, oh, let's go back here. Unlock. A. Nice. Anything down here? Nope. Don't want to drop too far down there, though. Alright, let's see if we can jump back now. Nice. Which way are we reeling this up? Guess so. We've reeled that all the way up. So we jump to it. Oh, and climb it, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. And then we can jump. Nice! Okay, let's get out of here. There's still, like, loads of this village left, but we are on the docks at least now. So it's a, a minor improvement on what came before it. Please don't wake up. That's the flower they were looking for, I think. So it is to do with the king's story as well. Well, we'll climb up here, I guess, then. Um, I don't know what that had to do with anything like maybe it's just a bit of story information if you're trying to piece together the story it seems everybody here was in search of this particular flower and it was sending some of them a bit crazy whoa okay that didn't work we fell short never mind I just don't want it to be another one of those creatures that follows the light in here oh there's a woman here with a hand in a box Oh, okay. Sorry about that. You don't need your hand anymore anyway, do you? Now we've got to try and prise her hand open. Oh, I hate these ones. Left bumper and right bumper. Are you kidding me? And now we press X to get the key. There we go. Cool. Let's get out. Ooh, look, oh, look at the little mouse hiding. It's kind of cute, just hiding in the pot there. We've got another storybook here. Let's check this one out. Dear diary, I am so in love with him. I cannot even describe it. It 
feels like he loves me too. Our village still tries to heal its wounds from the dark days. But at least me and my love survived and have each other. After the horrible witch hunt, we thought we were safe. We thought we would have peace. But then the plague came to our village. It feels like the plague is some kind of punishment for our sins. Maybe we deserve this. People say they have seen an old woman with a rake at night. Every house she passes, people inside get sick. I hope she does not come to my house. We saw her, didn't we? We saw the lady with a rake in the background a few minutes ago. That's kind of creepy. Every morning someone new has fallen ill, and shortly thereafter they die. We do not even dare to give them a proper funeral. It is horrible. The dead are rising from their graves, and they eat the ones left alive. I have locked myself in the house. I got separated from my love. I wish I could be with him. I hope I can meet him in the next life. I am out of food, and the dead are right outside my door. I miss him so much. Oh man, and then she ended up in here. He's dead. That's kind of a tragic tale right there. Okay, so where to now? Maybe over here? Continue forward. I think that was just a law room. Oh my god! Go, go, go! That was very close. I like the camera shots in this uh, sequence, like looking through the window there. That's pretty creepy. It's like people are watching us as we play. It would have been cool then if the camera started moving and it was a monster, we're like looking through its eyes and it was like following us. <sighs> okay, that's the church. I suppose we're trying to head to that then. But where do we go? Do we go through this door? Yeah, of course we do. Into the darkness. That room is marked with a cross. That means there's a plague in there, I think. We can't even go through there anyway. Probably shouldn't want to go through there, right? Oh! Did he just fall down the hole? I think he did. <laughs> just let him down the hole. Alright, there's another one there. So I think what we need to do is like lure them towards the pits. You can see there's two in front of us there. Oh my god. There we go, we got one we got him to go down the pit. Now let's get this other one to go down the pit. There we go. Nice, we took care of them. Enjoy your uh, your time out in the pit there, guys. We need some crank handle though to get through there. Where are we gonna get that from? Over here maybe? Oh yeah, it's down there I think. Right, we got it. Let's go back. Deposit the crank handle. Crank these up and hopefully get the heck out of this place. Man, the whole place is covered in plague infested zombies. It's not a good time for us. Okay, over to the next building. Oh no, there's someone in here as well. Ah! <laughs> I hate this, this is a really creepy mechanic. Oh, okay, yep, so I know where to go now, but he's actually where the box we need to jump up is. Right, we're gonna have to lure him back this way. There we go. Now we can run around. At least I don't use sound to detect. It's only light, which is very useful. Oh my god, there's rats all over this place. Don't mind us. Do we go through here? Yeah, we're back outside. Oh man, I don't know what to do. There's loads of plague infested zombies through there. Let's have a look. 
Yeah, look at them. They're all like infected with a bramble, aren't they? Like that's what they're infected with, is that bramble stuff. It's like wrapped around them. Guys, I think we might have made it out of the village. Now we've headed through that room. We've just got this church. Very ominous looking church. I don't even want to know what's going to be inside this place. I was expecting loads of bodies to be just like strung up around here. I was kind of thinking, okay, I'm going to have to censor this whole area. Luckily, there isn't. So I can show it you. That's good. Although there's still loads of people that have died in here. And we've got to pick up more books and stack them by the look of it. Stack them over here to climb up the trellis. Yeah, I don't think you'd want to take your Sunday service in this church, would you? That's a cool mural though. Let's have a look at... See if we can see it. So there's the king, yeah, as you can see. King was behind all of this kind of crazy corruption. Is there anything we can collect? Oh, and look, it looks like our uh, sister there in the bottom being held prisoner in the forest. There's a book down here. This might actually be the last book we need. There we go. So climb up into the rafters of a church. This is so spooky. Where are we going? Down here? Yep, almost broke our neck. Never mind. More dead people from the plague. We're heading to this like lighthouse looking place. I remember we saw sketches of that, didn't we? Oh my god. Don't even stop to look back, just run. They're all crawling about like zombies. Are they going to start chasing us? Oh my god. They're coming round, guys. And there's no way out. Wait, can they get to us, though? I don't think they can. That's good. Um, so where are we going? Oh my god, they've escaped. Go, 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 go! Run, 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 run! Actually, they can climb a wall, I bet, can't they? Maybe they can't. No, they can't climb a little wall. Oh, they can break through it, though. Okay, keep going. Run! As fast as your little legs will carry you, come on! Oh my god! No! All right, they fell in the water. We're safe. We're good. That was intense. We made it to the lighthouse. I think this is what this is meant to be. It might not be. But it seems like a lighthouse, right? That was pretty horrible. <laughs> Just having everybody chase us in the town, all infected with a plague. Well, we've been on quite the adventure so far. Oh, wait, wait. What's that? Let's collect that up. Oh, it's the boss that we're going to face soon, I imagine. With a rake. Pester figurine. It's a long way down. Keep your eyes ahead of you. This game certainly got some uh, charm to it. Oh, wait. There's an eclipse. Wait, why is this, why is the sun eclipsing? It was the middle of the day. I was appreciating that light. Now it's gone. Oh, are we gonna relight the flame of the lighthouse though? That might banish the bramble from the land, right? Man, this is actually kind of cool. Wow, man, this is so trippy. What the heck's going on? What is happening? This is actually kind of disturbing. What the heck? Is this meant to be like a character that's suffering some kind of like illness, I wonder? 
It almost looks like a straight jacket with us on in there. Alright, this is very strange. We've just emerged from a cave at the bottom of a lighthouse now. What are we meant to do? Do we wade into the water? It looks like we have to. I am so lost. I have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> it's like one of those games where it just wants you to really interpret stuff, I think. Are we going to take this boat, like push it out and then maybe ride it to the mountain? This feels like the final leg of the game though, doesn't it? Like it feels like once we get to the mountain that will be the end game. Okay, yeah, we got a row. Got a row with the left and right triggers. My favourite control scheme, because it's really finicky. That's sarcasm, of course. One thing as well that I wish developers wouldn't do so much of, or at least have the option to turn it off, is film grain. Oh my god, I'm talking about film grain and that freaking thing appears. The rake. What the hell is that, man? That's horrible. We've been captured. What the heck is this? We're in the darkness. Like, I can't see two feet in front of me. When she appears, I think what we're going to have to do is, um, is shoot her with this. Oh, we have to shoot her when she appears. There we go. Oh. We'd have to get back to the boat because we've been taken out of our body. I see, I see, I see. Man, this boss is cool. This is a cool boss fight. Hit the eyes now. That's right, blind her. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. That's right, blind her. Like, really horrible. But she deserves it. Blaster. Oh my god, it's this one. Shoot the eye. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Man. You can see it on the boat as well behind us trying to get us. Okay. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Shoot the eye. Almost fair, almost fair, almost fair, almost fair. I think we might have made it. Okay, do we keep rowing then? I think we have to keep rowing and just hope she doesn't wake back up. Oh, she's woken back up already, great. Of course she has. So that's probably just phase one of the attack, right? She's gonna keep trying to get us. No. Man, just stay chilled. Just stay sat there, please. I know she's gonna grab us from our body in a second. I feel so sorry for this little kid. No! Ugh, we're being grabbed again. Alright. Oh, okay, we've got to jump it now. It's getting harder. Alright, we got the eye. Keep going. Oh my god, wait, which one are we meant to be hitting here? Oh, I think it's this one, isn't it? The one with the strands coming out of its face. Now keep going. The intensity of this boss fight. Oh my god, rats. What do we do, just avoid them? Yeah, just avoid them. Okay, good. Now hit the eye again. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh my god, what the hell? That was horrible. The face just appeared underneath us. We gotta make our way back to the boat again. Come on. Ah! You freaky thing. Leave us alone. Oh no, we gotta jump a rake. That one really freaks me out every time. 
Hit the other eye. Sweet. I think we've done it. I think we can go back now. Once you take out both eyes, you can go back to the boat for a little bit. I don't know how many times we have to do that. It looks more wounded now, doesn't it? It looks like it's on its last legs, perhaps. So let's just keep rowing. Come on, man. This film grain is severe as well. Keep going, keep going, keep going. No, it's waking up again. Please don't wake up again. I want to get to the mountain. I don't want to have to destroy you again. I reckon we're going to have to do it one more time, right? Three phases for the boss. Yeah, one last phase for us. Come on, then. This is going to be even trickier, I bet, as well. What the heck's happening? Ah! Freaky thing. Oh no, it's even darker this time. I can't see anything. Man, that is hard. Right, now blast its eye. Yeah, when you blast the eye, that starts to open up. Oh no. Okay, she does it the other way now. Have that. Stick in your eye or something? Oh, not another rat. Come on, not more of these rats, man. That's not fair. That is not fair. Oh no, there's even more this time as well. There's like so many different faces. Let me back. Let me back, you freak. Ah. That makes me jump every single time. Oh no. That one's not actually too bad. Got you. Let me back to the boat. Yes, I think we've made it. Yes, we got the achievement. Defeated. Oh, man. Okay. So can we row our way to the mountain now? I think so. He had overcome the darkness. He had reached the mountain. The rowing is so difficult in this game. <laughs> he could finally find his sister. Nice. So is this going to be like the end? Or are we going to have more enemies to defeat, I wonder? Let's go and see. I kind of want to continue a little bit, guys, in case this is the end of the game. But if it's not, we'll probably split it into one final episode. Wait, this isn't looking good. It looks like it's turning black and white. Is this because the brambles infected everything? I'm guessing so. Can we go in this water? It's like blood red, this water as well probably is blood, right? <laughs> this is kind of unsettling, isn't it? Let's be honest. We almost made it to the mountaintop, though. This feels like the start of a game again. I think it is, right? Because this is like where we... Um, the summit is where we climbed at the start to meet our sister. That's where we first got the light orb from. And we keep returning to it. It almost seems like we're returning to it in our dreams and then we wake up again. But then I'm sure like the setting of this game is in a fantasy in his head anyway, because it's all to do with like folklore. I just don't know. As he reached the summit, Ola felt regret. Why is he feeling regret? Regret that he could not stop his sister from being taken. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Regret that he could not stop the woman from drowning her child. 
A lot of regret. I mean, the shapeshifter was kind of evil, so I don't know why he regretted that so much. Now the mountain stood before him, and he wished he could ask their forgiveness. Oh. All right, this is the end, I think. So I just want to know, do we split this into another video or do we keep going? Because I've been recording for about an hour now. Okay, here we go. Exactly where we left off. Making our way through the halls of the king's residence, I guess. His castle in the mountains. He had reached the end that Tuva had pointed him towards. Now, entering the halls of the mountain, Ulle was ready to find his sister. There's the king himself. What do we have to do here? Oh, we're sitting here. A secret door. Nice. Alright, let's go. He's got a lot of reading material, that's for sure. I imagine a king would be reading, like, Lord of the Rings and stuff like that, a lot of Tolkien. Where are we going? This reminds me of that bit in Little Nightmares with the, um... Oh, we're back here! I was gonna say with a creepy janitor, but no, we're back here with this, uh, Keeper of All the Secrets. Let's have a look. Exhausted, bloody, and at his wit's end, King Nils came to a witch's house on the outskirts of his kingdom. He fell to his knees, begging the witch to help cure his son, and she agreed. The witch explained that the flower held tremendous power that could only very carefully be used for good. The witch instructed he only use a single petal. Using the whole bloom would only invite death. Ulrich began to recover discontent at the royal line had grown in the kingdom, following King Niels' bloody campaign. The next day, King Niels found his son dead, and the last light holding his darkness at bay was snuffed out. Heartbroken, King Niels turned to the bloom which had promised life, and instead saw it as an escape from his suffering. The witch, having come to visit the king and the prince, looked at the nightmarish scene in despair. She raised a mountain on top of King Nils and shackled him using the same bramble that he let loose upon the kingdom. And to this day, the trolls still feed him as punishment for his evil deed. Ah, that's interesting, guys. So we got the actual story explained, at least the, the fantasy side of this story. The king is responsible for all the bramble, and he used the petals of a flower to command it to raise it up. I guess maybe go this way? Have we been this way yet? Yeah, like a secret door. Is this going to be the room of the king's son? Looks like it. Man, we've got a lot of stuff we can do in this room. What's this? Just sit on the chair? I guess just for the funsies, right? <laughs> just for the, for the lols? Picture of the king and his child. The king with uh, his son as a baby. And then the king and his wife. What's this? A clock without any hands. Oh, and here's the bloody scene on the bed. Oh, we've got a number in there. The number six, I think that is. In Roman numerals. So six is maybe one of the numbers we need for the clock. Also got a manuscript. 
Oh, and an item. Two. Two and six, okay. What about here? Is there anything through here? That's locked, I think. All right, let's check in here. Ooh, what's this? We've dressed ourselves, okay? We've dressed ourselves in the uh, prince's attire. Interesting. Oh, and there is the clock hand, or at least one of them. Where would the other be? There's the sword. Oh, there's another number there, 10. And a collectible of the king. Nice. Is there anything else here, like another clock hand maybe? Oh, what's this? That's strange. A knife, a pocket knife, okay. It's all like stuff we've run into before. I wonder if we're meant to be like the prince or at least correlating to him in some way. We'll put the clock hand there. I'm gonna set this to 10. Oh, okay. So that worked, guys. Setting that to 10 worked. And now we've got key. The crown on it. Okay, so what are we gonna use? Maybe on this door? Yes, yeah, so we unlock the door by using the key. We need to find another hand for a clock, set another number, and it kind of advances the stage that way, I think. It's a bit confusing. Oh man, this place is huge. What the heck? So I'm guessing we're gonna be returning to that room every time we get a new clock hand. But for now, we've got to press on. It's brambles as far as the eye can see. There's a light this way, so maybe we just follow the light? Oh! Oh no! Well, at least he stayed asleep. On the plus side. Don't mind us, Mr. Troll. What is that sound? Is that like a stonemason? Oh no, it's just the shockwaves from it. Sort of uh, dumbbell falling. All right. Let's keep crouched. All right. Take it easy. Take it slow. Run, 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 run. Okay. So what do we do now? Do we jump to this? Yeah, we jump to this and we ah, we climb these. Jump across. Nice. We need to jump across now. Jump. Excellent. And hide. Okay, make our way across. No. Guys, I'm dead. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not. Oh my god. Hide. <laughs> We're gonna have to stay behind this wheel as it rolls. This little crank handle. Okay, we, we survived somehow. I don't know how, but we did. Okay, jump across. Oh, yeah. there we go. Now, as soon as it blasts, we're going to jump here. There we go, and we're going to keep going. Wait here for it to drop again. And now we progress. And now we wait. And now we go. Easy as that. Easy as that. Just wait one more time. Don't get too eager. We're so close to the end. And there we go. We made it. Ooh, look at this giant door. This is cool. Looks like we're going to have to destroy some flowers here. Oh, yeah, we can aim. There we go. One, two. Three, four. Nice. The door opens. The gate that was meant to be closed forever now opened. Hmm. 
Maybe we don't have to go back to uh, that room with a clock in it. The king is at the top there. Look, the crown is about to be lowered down onto his head. He looks like he's sealed away, right? The mountain king who was meant to be hidden forever was now revealed. Yeah, he's been like bound here. He just had to reach the sack before Lilimur ended up as the giant's dinner. Okay. So how are we gonna do that? Do we go around the outside or do we try and climb that? I'm assuming we go around the outside. There's his sword that he slayed so many witches with. I think we're probably gonna have to climb that sword, right? It looks climbable. Yes. It's like Shadow of a Colossus. Have you guys ever heard of that game? Shadow of a Colossus. It's one of my favourite all-time games. And this reminds me a little bit of that. This sequence. It's basically a game where you slay giants. And uh, you have to kind of climb the monsters you slay. It's really cool. Jump. Okay. Oh, man. There's spikes everywhere. Can I just walk across this? I guess so. I thought I was going to get spiked by it. This thing is enormous. Looks like there's some flowers to destroy on here. The only issue is we're going to be freeing the king. I mean, he's going to be looking for some sweet revenge, right? Okay. I don't know if I'm still controlling this. I don't think so. I think we're okay. We're just getting carried there. We speed ran it. Oh no. Man, this isn't good. We're so close yet so far. What's that rock for? Is that for like smashing his food? <laughs> Look how big the king is. Oh, he just has to open his mouth and just pour it in. Oh no! His sister! No! What the heck? That's horrible! Man, that's really tragic! She just got eaten! Maybe we can still save her. If he swallowed a hole, maybe we can like slice him open or something. Oh, God. It's like eating its serv his servants as well. Man. Still, that was the creature that kidnaps our uh, sister to begin with, so I'm not too sad about that. I'm kind of happy, actually. That's karma. Oh, no. He's like, well, well, well. We've got dessert. Had the starter, the main course. Now we've got the dessert. Great. Right, how do I destroy this thing? Blasphies, I guess, right? Oh, man. Yeah, he's pretty slow, so hopefully he stays that slow. Oh, he uses his uh, fork as well to try and spike us. And then he jabs at us with the knife. We've got to do this as quickly as we can. Let's get all these flowers. There we go. As soon as you see that shadow appear, you know where it's going to go, so you can kind of just start destroying all of these um, flowers. There we go, we've done one side. Now we do the other side. Go, 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 go! Oh, that's so close. Okay, now he's going to try and stab us again. I mean, that's all he really does try and do. Nope. Oh, that was so close. We've got one more to go, guys. 
We can't die now. It can't be for nothing. Yes. Okay, all the flowers are destroyed. The brambles will subside. But I guess he's going to become stronger as well, right? He's still smiling, so he's obviously not that hurt. Oh, no. The demonic king. Whoa. Imagine what his teeth would be like. He never gets to brush them, does he? I don't know why that's on my mind right now. It's not my concern, right? Surely. Whoa. There's so many flowers to destroy. Okay, go, 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 go. I'm just trying to spam attacks as soon as I can. All right, now we have to dodge the sword again. There we go. As soon as that's dodged, we get back on the flower duty, you know, to throw these flowers. We're getting through it. Oh my god. What the heck's happening now? Wait, what's happening? What did he just do? We just got wiped out. Oh, it's checkpointed us, though. Okay, that's good. It's good that we got a checkpoint. So it looks like we're on to the final phase of the fight now. Run! Wow, this is actually hard. Are you kidding me? Whoa. Can we hide behind the rocks now? Yes, we have to hide behind the rocks when he does that. Okay, that's what got me last time. Yes, I think we got him, guys. That was actually really the tough. Bramble weakened. The Mountain King saw clearly for the first time in centuries. And what he saw reminded him of his beloved son. It's calming him. It's calming his might. He would not lose him again. This time, King Nils would overcome the darkness. <laughs> he just kills us by accident when he pushes that. Okay, what are we doing? Do we have to destroy this with our light? This seems to be the flower that started everything, right? Well, it was used to the wrong purpose, which is why uh, you know, it spread the bramble Souls everywhere. Of the curse blossomed. I guess we go and attack this, right? King Nils tore the bramble rooted in his back and brought it all to an end. Nice. Destroyed it. The only it. way to get to Lilimur was now up and in. Oh, we're going to have to go into his mouth, yeah. Okay, let's do this. This is kind of cool. The only way to save our sister is to climb inside his mouth. This is insane. Kind of climb down into his throat. This is going to be nuts. Can we just go straight up his hands? Looks like it. Yep, there we go. Up the hands. And to the giant spear. There we go. And now inside his mouth, I guess. That would really be horrible, though, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. After all that flesh he's been eating. What the heck? Throw the light inside. Oh my god, he's gonna get flattened! No! What the hell? A whole journey for nothing? Maybe we save our sister though, right? Oh yeah, look, she used the sword to hack her way out. Oh 
no! They're reunited, but he didn't make it. He sacrificed himself for his sister. Man, that's kind of a tragic ending if it stops there. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's kind of sad. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe there is hope yet. The light. Tuva had one last gift to give to Ole. <coughs> He's back, guys. He's safe. That's awesome. All right. Now we escape, right? Yes, <laughs> she's carrying him. Damn. The mountain king dead. His prison started to crumble. <laughs> hey, it's our friend. Always look after his friend. He came to our need. He somehow got all the way across that giant lake, even though he's a piece of stone. Got to the mountain. I still think he must teleport. Let's go. Are we back home now? A nightmare woke her up. I'm hoping we're back home. Frightened by her memories. She searched for her brother's comfort. But he was nowhere to be found. Maybe this is the same as the start, but it switched. Yeah, now we're playing as the uh, sister. Let me have a look. Yeah, the picture's changed. It's happier. There's like two people snuggling, although it looks like... I don't know, it still looks a bit grim. What's this shelf all about? Oh, there's all the things we collected. We missed like three of them, or four of them, I think, guys, if you look. We were like four that we missed. We can measure her now. I guess we head outside. However, the darkness outside did not scare her. <gasps> hey, he's there! He's safe! That's good to know. Because she knew she had her brother. So they did turn out to be okay. And it was kind of just like a nightmare, like I thought it might be. There we go, guys! That's Bramble the Mountain King! We completed it! That was a good game, I liked that. But that was Bramble the Mountain King, guys. Good little game. The ending actually kind of got me, because originally I was thinking that the whole story was about, like, Ollie's trauma, and how he interpreted events in real life as, like, these monstrous folklore things. You know, like, his interpretation of things was different because he was such a young age. Uh, and then I thought maybe it was a nightmare and it turned out to be that. Like, I didn't ever assume the fantasy stuff was actually happening. But it was cool, because it was like a game within a game, so you had the nightmares sort of going on between these two kids that were experiencing something in their dreams and then all this folklore that it explained along the way brought to life. The story dealt with some pretty heavy stuff and um, you know the game was interesting as I said before it covered some folklore from the Nordic regions so that's interesting they had that stuff in there and it's stuff that I don't know too much about so for me it was definitely like cool learning about it along the way. The boss encounters were really cool apart from the last boss which I found a bit frustrating uh, and a bit overly kind of like difficult I guess um, but most of the bosses were like really cool these giant set piece moments we also had lots of different variety in terms of locations as we travel through the game it was a nice short experience that has some replayability because you can collect stuff along the way if you want to go back and do that and I don't know if that gives us like an extra ending the ending did seem pretty conclusive so I'm guessing not 
but uh, you'll have to let me know guys I'll be away as I said when this comes out officially so I could only cover what I could cover in this playthrough before I left my holiday with that said I hope you did enjoy my playthrough of Bramble the Mountain King it's been a really fun experience really enjoyed my time with it so massive thank you to the developer for providing me with an early copy with that said if you did enjoy this video guys remember to leave a like comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one and I will see you all on the next one